Hi, I'm Timothy Hobbs, and today I'm going to be showing you blister packed super glue. So, the what is it's super glue in a blister pack, and the why is that if you infrequently use super glue, then the lid of the tube will uh, stick on, it'll dry up, and you will have to throw out most of the tube of super glue if you use super glue once every couple of months. So the blister pack super glue comes in a Ziploc bag with a couple of strips of sheet metal for spreading the glue on and for opening the blisters, and a couple of pieces of paper to put into the pack when you're packing everything back up, which prevent the opened up blisters from sticking onto the plastic bag. So today I'm going to be uh, gluing a coffee grinder which broke using this blister pack, so I used my uh, strip of sheet metal to cut open the blister. It's not too hard. The hardest thing is getting it on a camera so that my hand isn't blocking the, the camera. And then I uh, just spoon out the super glue, which is just in the blister and I spread it on. I found that this was a bit different than normal super glue and when, when you use super glue that you're squishing out of a tube the hardest part is is getting uh, not getting too much super glue out because it tends to gush out and when you squeeze on the tube and when you're spooning it out with this little sheet metal stick then the hardest part is getting enough super glue onto the stick. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. In this example it seemed to stick on just fine, so perhaps that's not a problem. And you need to wait two and a half seconds to let the super glue cure, and then you can stick on your, your broken off part and, and wait around. So in this example I have, I have a blister with a blister pack with six blisters, and I ended up having a lot of glue left over. It would actually be better if the blisters were smaller and there were more of them because then I could get more glues and gluings out and I would waste less glue and less packaging. But that's how it is. And now for the hard part, getting it back in the bag. So these pieces of paper, you have to sandwich the, the blister pack with the piece of paper so it doesn't so the glue that's still in the blister doesn't stick to the plastic bag. That that glue that's still in the blister is waste glue, by the way. And, and you just kind of cram it in there with the, the piece of paper stuck to the, to the blister pack. And that's it. Blister pack super glue.